Hello, welcome to 5 minute software testing tips. Uh, today's topic is page object pattern. So let's talk about page object pattern for about 5 minutes. So the page object pattern is normally used in a UI automation. Um, and I think the UI automation is such a big topic, I don't think I can cover that in 5 minutes. So I will have a multiple sessions around uh, UI automation. So for today, uh, I'm just going to mention about what page object pattern is and and the benefits uh, that you can get uh, by using this page object pattern. So the page object pattern, I think, is the most popular uh, UI automation framework design. Um, so and it uses the uh, this library like Selenium and WebDriver. These are used in uh, normally in web application, and Robotium and UI Automator. These are sort of using a the library they use in Android application. Uh, but actually, this library uh, does most of the work. Um, so, the, like for example, Selenium actually does launching the browser, uh, actually interact with the web page. Uh, that Selenium does most of the work, and then Robotium or UI Automator actually launches the uh, Android application and interact with activities. So, uh, so what you're adding uh, by having this page object pattern. Uh, is basically the business aspect to it. So Selenium, WebDriver, Robotium, and UAutomator, this library defines very generic APIs. It's pretty rich APIs, but it's pretty generic. For example, Selenium, it exposes, like, you can find element by ID uh, or XPath and whatnot, and then you can specify string to a text field, or you can click a button, you can, uh, you know, you can do the button event, button clicking event and whatnot, right? So it doesn't really have a business aspect. It's a pretty generic API. So by having this page object pattern or in your uh, UI automation framework, you can add a uh, business aspect to it. So you can think of it as a wrapper around this generic API and define a class that wraps around generic API and provide the business aspect to it. So for the page, I mentioned that as one logical UI chunk. Uh, the reason why I say that is because nowadays this web application is such a Ajax rich application, you can really think that as a single page application, right? So, so what I mean by logical UI chunk is the logical piece. You can not buy this URL, but logical chunk that user can interact or it has some specific feature to it. So you, once you define this logical UI chunk, then it becomes a class. So you, you, I call uh, whatever class, like login page class, right? That's that's how it translates. And the inner the user interaction and the operation on the page can be translated into a method uh, in that class. So for example, uh, login page will have methods like uh, method names like type username, type password, click on uh, click on Remember password, things like that, right? So, uh, so this specific login page exposes specific operation that user can do. So you can imagine that you're going to have multiple pages that represent different pages in your um, application. So your test case is basically uh, mix and match your page classes, right? And then, uh, and then you can use mix and match this class, and you complete your user scenarios. That's basically it. So. Uh, for example, you have a login page, a home page, a, you know, car page, purchase page, and whatnot, right? So all this separation, you just combine all these page uh, page classes, and you can actually uh, finish your user scenario. That's basically it. So the, the graphical sort of representation is in here. Uh, this library actually sits behind these page classes, and page classes expose this natural language kind of kind of natural language API the method so your test case will actually call this page define method so it doesn't really know about uh, specific API details about selenium webdriver robotium it uses this method so that's basically uh, the page uh, object pattern sort of a structure so here's the benefits of pay, uh, using uh, page object pattern the first thing is I think it's really straightforward to deal with the UI change uh, because all these, uh, you know, UI specific sort of a uh, 
fields or representation like you know, you know element location changing IDs XPath and whatnot uh, that actually all define you know uh, page class so your test case doesn't really have to care about what it is right so you just your your test case will say this page class login page dot uh, type username it doesn't have any you know ID or XPath information around right? you just call that page class and call that method so you can only change page classes and you can, can adopt this UI changes pretty easily. I think that's the one of the benefits. The second benefit is it's pretty easy to use uh, because this page class exposes very natural language, it's like a user kind of behavior method. So it's really easy to use and it's, it's, it's kind of a, you can implement things pretty fast. Uh, so I think that's the another benefit. And third benefit is uh, I think this is one of one of the most important uh, thing to have in your any kind of test automation. Uh, the volume of the code will increase as you add more test cases, but the complexity of the code doesn't increase as much. I think that's the beauty of page, page object parent because you're defining defining operation on the page, and you have a multiple increase volume of page will increase but the complexity of your code will not stay similar. I think that's the beauty of it. Okay, that's it. Bye.